Today I'm gonna play around with my fans. And that's not you guys. Uh, I'm talking about CPAP, specifically for printers. Now, Big Tree Tech sent me this uh, eco fan and I wanna test it, um, have a quick look at it, but I really wanna test it. That's the, the main purpose here. I wanna test this versus the other options that I have right now, which is the uh, good old 7040 fan that most of us uh, know about. I wanna test both a single and a dual 5015 fan. And then my setup that I've been using for like a year or more, two years actually, uh, on my scalable, which is a uh, 12032 fan. Um, these are super cheap. Uh, so what? I'm, how, how do I do this? Well, I've made a little jig uh, and I have a jeweler's fan, uh, no, I have a jeweler's scale, uh, so it's super precise, and I'll put that under this little jig. Uh, the, the sole purpose of this jig is to put the CPAP tube on, and then put the little weight uh, scale right there, and the CPAP will blow onto the scale, giving me a number of pressure. Now, that's not relative to anything else. It's just for this setup, but it would give me a value to compare between all the fans that I have right now. And I find that be a good way to, to compare what I have right here because 5015s are different. Uh, 120, uh, 32 fans are different. Even some 7040s are uh, kind of different. So I'm comparing with, with what I have and I wanna see how it all goes together. Uh, second thing I'm gonna test is noise and what percentage of the fan are in. So I'll test it at 20%, 50% and 100% and I'll give you all the numbers of the pressure on the scale and the noise that it's giving out. And then we'll see how that looks in the end. So I'm gonna have some fun testing all of this. I'll make a good little spreadsheet that I can share with you guys. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Now, quickly before I start, Big Tree Tech did send me this to review and I'm trying to do this a little bit different. I'm just not going to look at it too much. I'm going to test it, give you all the numbers and let you people decide what you wanna get. Now, that being said, I have to show you what's in this box. So in the box, there's a CPAP tube. Uh, this is the thin variant. Just keep that in mind. This is the thin one. There's of course the fan itself. There's a wire to connect it to your printer. And then there is a separate wire for power. There is a little baggie of um, fasteners. So this is uh, for the printed parts that you are going to have to print. And then finally, of course, a little rubber bucket. So let's look at the uh, fan. And it's a, uh, what I believe is a Roborock fan. I haven't looked at them too much. Um, and then a circuit board and a cooling fan. I stupidly um, looked at this and went, did they just put a fancy adapter on a 4010? No. Uh, that's not what this is. The actual fan is this whole thing. And um, yeah, it's a fan, a PCB, and a cooling fan for that PCB. Now this connects uh, with just um, Wago style terminals. And this needs uh, 24 volts continuously and a uh, signal cable from your board. It's done this way just because this needs more power than a lot of boards can deliver this these days. Uh, so they just they just give you the 24 volts and then the uh, input from the fan is just a control signal. So let's get to testing and I'll see what happens. So 
So you might be thinking, how do I test this? Well, it's, it's quite simple. I have my fan always set up at this exact spot. I have my scales always set up in this exact spot. And right over there, um, about 90 centimeters away, is a phone with a decibel meter app. Um, there's not much calibration that I can do to make this a uni universal test for everyone, but this is for my conditions. Um, and then I have my little um, uh, poly maker box of death right here, which is a, inside is a power supply. There's a Pi and a Pico. This is just a test bench setup uh, so I can, well, do this as simple as, <laughs> as I can. Um, so I'm just gonna run this at 20, 50, and 100%, and then I'll record the decibel and the pressure on the scales, and I'm gonna see what uh, happens. So let me show you this one, and then I'll record all the other ones, and we'll, I'll come back in the end with the results. That's all my testing done, and um, I did when when I tested my dual fifty fifteen um, setup. I remembered that uh, microplastic on my, the uh, Rolohan Discord made a uh, a bi turbo or sequential turbo version of a fifty fifteen um, CPAP thing. So I I did include that. Um, in the testing, uh, I guess all the the numbers I'll put it on on the screen. I'll also put a link in the description if you want to um, copy or or um, have a closer look at them. The uh, the eco it, it's better than all the other options except the seventy forty, which is no surprise. The seventy forty is still by far the the uh, the best uh, bang for buck CPAP. Um, but it's super, super loud. Um, the, the thing about the, the eco is there's a higher pitched noise. It's not as loud, but it's higher pitched. I found, find it a, a little bit distracting. Um, I probably won't keep using it, uh, just because I have other options. Um, the dual 5015 setup is still one of the best setups uh, for if you look at the price, performance, and noise. Uh, the dual 5015, if you get good ones, and uh, mine are uh, genuine GDS time 24 volt fans, it's a really good performing setup for the price and also the uh, the noise. Uh, single 5015 is actually pretty good in, in itself. The, uh, the sequential one, I'm not sure that it's worth uh, over a dual setup. Um, and finally, my monstrosity of a uh, 12032, it, it's not great. Um, I designed this when I didn't have anything else. I had the fan and I have a printer, so I made this. Um, so I'll still keep using this just because it works and I don't need this fan for anything else right now. So uh, why not just use it? Um, it's it's not as good as a dual 5015, so that might be worth considering. If you have two 5015s and you have a 120, um, 32, 
over the duo 5015s. As for the, the Eco, um, it's, it's a nice plug and play solution um, because there's no custom wiring. It, it comes with really long, long cables for everything. It's just not for me, uh, but it, you might have a different opinion. So let me know in the uh, comments what you think of these results. Uh, if I should have done anything different or if you have another CPAP setup you want me to have a look at, uh, please let me know in the comments. Now that's it for this video. Uh, again, thank you to Big Tree Tech for sending the Eco fan over for testing and a mini kind of review. I, I just let you know what I think. Uh, so if you have your own opinion, please, please keep them. Um, as in, we all have a different opinion. So yeah. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, thumbs down and make sure you subscribe. And if you didn't know, I have merch in the description. So see ya. Ah.